The dog days of summer are here, so let's crank up the AC and come in out of the heat to enjoy some flicks. Hey everybody, I am Dragon Movie Guy. Let's take a look at what's coming to theaters this month. These are my top 10 August movies ranked by excitement. Hey everybody, Dragon Movie Guy here. Summer movie season is my favorite time of year on the big screen, and we have a ton of different flicks to check out this month, so let's take a look at my top 10. Coming in at number 10 is Respect, the biopic for R&B legend Aretha Franklin. Starring Academy Award winner Jennifer Hudson as Aretha, Academy Award winner Forrest Whitaker as Aretha's father, Marlon Wayans as her love interest Ted White, and comedian Mark Maron as legendary music producer Jerry Wexler. Aretha's doing alright. Respect follows the life and times of Aretha as she goes from talented preacher's daughter to top of the recording industry. You're special, Ray. You have a talent they call genius. This is director Liesl Tommy's feature film debut in what looks to be a fairly straight-ahead musical biography picture, including the standard issue scene where the artist struggles to write her biggest hit song. The cinematography and costumes look great, as does the messaging of finding your own voice, both as a singer and as a businesswoman. I got a single by this new chick named Aretha Franklin. It looks like a real life version of Dream Girls meets Ray. I'm cautiously optimistic this film isn't just the standard issue biopic and really tells the story of this musical legend. Respect is rated PG-13 and hits theaters on August 13th. In at number nine is Habit, the highly stylized action drama comedy thriller. This is a highly stylized star vehicle for the highly controversial ex-Disney star, Bella Thorne. I went to confess my sins. <laughs> Thorne stars as a small town girl recently moved to the big city whose life choices are, well, hilarious. What dumbass messes with nuts, huh? Thorne, the unnamed party girl, gets mixed up with a drug dealer and ends up going undercover as a nun. You can always work for me, you know. Real life rock star Gavin Rossdale stars as Eric, Edge of the World star Josie Ho stars as Queenie, and Michael Jackson's daughter Paris stars as Jesus. All the money and all his drugs are gone, okay? This film looks like Spring Breakers meets The Bling Ring. Needless to say, this film is pushing some buttons and has already attracted some controversy. Do you know where to get waxed around here? Clearly this film isn't meant for everybody, but it does look like a lot of fun for those who aren't easily offended. Habit is rated R and hits theaters and streaming on demand August 20th. In at number 8 is The Protégé, a female assassin flick starring Maggie Q from Mission Impossible 3, Die Hard 4, and The Divergent series. We never sent anyone away who didn't have it coming. Maggie Q plays Anna, a hit woman raised by Samuel L. Jackson's Moody Dutton, who seeks revenge after Dutton is murdered. Think John Wick meets Columbiana meets Salt. She's not gonna run. She's gonna lick her wounds. And she's coming after us. The target of her rage is Rembrandt, played by Michael Keaton, who seems to have an attraction slash fascination with Anna. I'd really like to see you again under different circumstances. These are the best circumstances you'll ever see me in. Director Martin Campbell has successfully directed two of my favorite James Bond films. However, he also directed the DC Comics movie so bad it should have been in the DCEU, 2011's Green Lantern. I just wanted to end their life. <laughs> standing in my way. I'm not quite sure whether this looks good like Casino Royale or bad like Green Lantern, but Campbell's also directed the Zorro movies, so I'll give it a try. The Protégé is rated R and will be in theaters on August 20th. If you're liking this video so far, please be sure to hit the like button until it turns blue. It tells the algorithm you like what you're seeing. In at number seven on my list is Star Wars' John Boyega as an idealistic yet jaded lawyer in Naked Singularity. You have the power to waive a mandatory minimum. Next docket. Boyega plays an American public defender who gets seduced by a beautiful defendant who's in way over her head. Why risk it? I don't want to live my life looking at lost opportunities. But even when Pennywise himself, Bill Skarsgård, enters the picture, he's still a goody two-shoes. Why not? Because it's wrong. 
It's wrong? It's, it's wrong. It's wrong? I'm not usually a huge crime drama fan, but anytime you can get a Star Wars actor who's held a lightsaber in a movie, I want to see him holding a real katana sword in this one. Naked Singularity is rated R and in theaters on August 6th and on demand on August 13th. In at number six is a bizarre thriller where Dexter actor Michael C. Hall plays the dad of a kid who's just lost it and drugs and imprisons his own family. This is John and the Hole. Can you tell your mother I'm here? No, she left. The titular John is played by Charlie Shotwell, a high-achieving tennis prodigy in an upper-middle-class family who's just plain tired of being treated like a kid. Hi, this is Anna. This is Anna. John tries to impersonate his mom after drugging her and the rest of the family and sticking them in a hole. Picture Cameron from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, but instead of stealing his dad's car and joyriding around town, this is much, much darker. I'm sorry. Truth be told, I already saw this flick at Sundance Film Festival earlier this year, but it's since been picked up by IFC Films, and there's always a chance that changes were made. John and the Hole is rated R. It's coming out on August 6th. In at number five is Swan Song, starring German actor Udo Kier as an eccentric, retired hairdresser relegated to living in a retirement home. I'm Mr. Pat, and I'm back. Kier plays Pat Pitsenberger, who goes on the road to style a woman's hair for her funeral. I'm surprised you still remember me. Who could forget the Liberace of Sandusky? Stifler's mom, actress Jennifer Coolidge, also stars, and Linda Evans plays the recently deceased Rita Parker Sloan. Demanding Republican monster. Sounds like a nightmare. I adore her. This film looks like a mix of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, and Little Miss Sunshine. I used to perform here. Must have been before my time. This place was family. I love indie films, and I love a good road trip movie, and this one looks like a little of both. Swan Song is in limited theatrical release on August 6th, and streaming on August 13th. If you like videos like this one, please be sure to hit the red subscribe button until it turns white, and be sure to hit the bell notification button so you find out the very second I post any videos to this channel. In at number four is The Suicide Squad, or Suicide Squad 2, the standalone sequel to the horrendously bad 2016 original Suicide Squad. I'm not joining your Suicide Squad. We'll see. Harley Quinn, Amanda Waller, and Colonel Rick Flagg return from the original, but most of the rest of the cast are newcomers, along with Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn. You're flinching in my door! Everyone stand down. Miss Waller, I don't- Stand down! Idris Elba steps in as Bloodsport, along with a ton of B-list actors playing C-list characters. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Had to go number two. Good to know. Margot Robbie also returns as Harley Quinn, hoping to not be the best part of a bad movie for the third straight time. Not a werewolf, okay? He's a weasel. He's harmless. I mean, he's not harmless. He's killed 27 children, but, you know. I'm honestly really torn by this movie. On one hand, James Gunn worked wonders with the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. On the other, this is the DCEU. If this were any other James Gunn movie, it'd be number one on my list. Instead, it's number four. The Suicide Squad is in theaters and streaming on HBO Max August 10th. In at number three is Reminiscence, sci-fi mystery movie all about memory. Nothing is more addictive than the past. Jackman plays Nick Bannister, a private investigator helping his new client, played by Mission Impossible's Rebecca Ferguson, remember what she forgot. Where is she? Where is she? Jackman is surrounded by Westworld actors and directors in this flick that looks like eternal sunshine of the spotless mind meets Inception meets Westworld. How much did you really know her? How much did you love her? The effects, the mystery, all look really well done, and I'm guessing that this is a flick I'll need to watch more than once to fully absorb everything. You're going on a journey. All you have to do is follow my voice. Reminiscence is rated PG-13 and is in theaters and streaming on HBO Max on August 20th. 
Before we get to my top two films, I did want to include my honorable mentions. A place for all the unloved animals in the world. CryptoZoo is an animated movie by writer-director Dash Shaw, and features the voice talents of Zoe Kazan, Lake Bell, Michael Sarah and Peter Stormare. The film follows zookeepers as they try to capture a dream-eating creature. CryptoZoo is not yet rated. It is in theaters and streaming on August 20th. How do you ready, Vivo? <laughs> and my other honorable mention is Vivo, a CGI animated musical from Lin-Manuel Miranda. Miranda plays the titular Vivo and includes a cast of Zoe Saldana and Gloria Estefan. Vivo is rated PG and streams on Netflix August 6th. In at number two is the only true comedy on this list, Vacation Friends, starring John Cena and Lil Rel Howery. This is a private event. Oh, it's cool. We know the bride and groom. We met these two animals down in Mexico. John Cena and Meredith Hagner play Ron and Kayla, wedding crashers who just can't take a hint and apparently have no boundaries. Why does the salt not taste salty? Oh, because it's cocaine. What? Lil Rel Howery and Yvonne Orhi play Marcus and Emily, who aren't exactly thrilled to have their big day interrupted. Marcus and I cross paths in Mexico. Get to know each other intimately. This does look like a paint-by-numbers type comedy, but it also looks like a ton of fun. The kind of comedy we haven't gotten much of this summer, and the kind I'm really eager to see. Vacation Friends is rated R and streams exclusively on Hulu on August 27th. And in at number one is Ryan Reynolds' CGI action comedy, Free Guy. My name is Guy, and I live in paradise. Ryan Reynolds stars as Guy, a non-playable background character in a shared world online video game similar to Grand Theft Auto. Everybody down on the ground. Everybody except you. Me? Jodie Comer plays Millie, a player in the game who befriends Guy when she sees just how different he is. Put these on. Okay. Fine. I oh my god! This film also stars Thor Ragnarok director Taika Waititi as the villain and looks like a ton of fun. Free Guy was supposed to come out last summer, but got pushed to this August. I'm not gonna be the good guy. Thanks, guy! I'm gonna be the great guy. Enjoy your lifetime supply of virginity. This is also the second film to have Ryan Reynolds ride a motorcycle with a woman facing backwards on his lap and shooting guns. Just like the hitman's wife's bodyguard, let's hope this is better than that. Free Guy is rated PG-13 and only in theaters August 13th. But I want to know, what movies are you most excited to see this August? Let me know in the comments section down below. You've seen my list, now let me see your list down in the comments section. To check out my most anticipated movies for the entire summer, please be sure to click right over here. This is my top 10 list for the entire summer. I've been Dragon Movie Guy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.